excuse me, uh, I lost this animal while I was delivering. What's she look like? She's 24 feet long, she's got big horns. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got a pretty big update to go over for the next Jurassic World movie. So it looks like some new filming locations have been revealed for the movie and a production date is set in place for the film. This also looks like it rules out the idea of there being a prequel for the next movie by the way, but I'll get into that later. All in all, this is a pretty big pile of information that seems really interesting to say the least. She weighs about three tons. Yeah, sure, mister. If I see a dinosaur, I'll let you know. So, a listing for the next Jurassic World film has production said to start around June 17th, just a couple of months from now, and last all the way through to October 18th. The movie itself is supposed to come out next year in July, so it's actually a pretty short turnaround if you ask me, and they are really pushing the production on this thing to get it out as soon as possible. Filming is also scheduled to be in Malta, the setting of Jurassic World Dominion's black market area, and Thailand of all places. Not too sure what that could mean for the film, but it looks like Gareth Edwards has already used it to film scenes for his last movie, The Creator, so maybe that could give us an idea of how the new film will look. Unfortunately, Hawaii and LA are not listed on any new pieces of production material, so it looks like this talk of a prequel on Isla Nublar or Sorna set before the events of the World Trilogy may not actually be true after all, which is kind of crazy. And I'll say on a side note, guys, I'd heard a personal rumor through the grapevine that the movie may continue forward and not go back in time at all, but hey, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. We may still get some sort of flashback sequence if we're lucky, but at this rate, I'm honestly doubting it. I don't really know if the whole black market Malta thing is going to be explored again, but I personally really hope not because I just don't care for any of that to tell you the truth, but Thailand could be an interesting location to film dinosaurs in. This is the kind of place that does seem like it would be really interesting to have loose creatures all over the world, like, you know, going in and out of different locations. I don't know if they could come across any old ruins and seeing dinosaurs there, similar to something like the Jurassic Park Rampage Edition video game, or maybe it's just, you know, a little more of a jungly environment. Sarah? Go get her. Scarlett Johansson is confirmed to be in talks for this movie, so her involvement in scenes with dinosaurs of some sort around here could be interesting to see, especially if Gareth Edwards and David Kep reel everything back to a more realistic standard. But again, I am personally bummed that everything seems to be pointing to a film set after Dominion. Let's go into that more right now. There's another location where production is said to take place, which is in the UK, but I think this could just be a shooting on a studio sort of situation set in London. So it could be anything for the movie and not necessarily an outdoor location where you'd see any dinosaurs. Now there's also some weird information concerning the title of the movie or at least what it's currently listed as because Jurassic Outpost has reported the listing has Jurassic World 4 filming from June 17th to October 18th but it also goes on to call the movie aka Jurassic City slash Jurassic Park reboot. What that means I honestly do do not know. Look guys, I've heard a lot of rumors about what this movie could be, and this is actually the part where they're starting to conflict with one another. At some point, people say it could be a prequel, and then they say it could be a movie set after Dominion, and then there's even rumors of a human hybrid dino idea. Now look, I don't think that's going to happen in the movie at all, and as far as I can tell, the most probable thing going on here is that this is more than likely a movie set after the last one that is also trying to distance itself as far as it can from the last trilogy. I don't know if the film will be set within a city like the title Jurassic City implies, but we now know for a fact that these locations in Malta and Thailand are going to be used for filming. And by the way, the Malta thing, it may very well not be the black market. It could be a completely different location. Where the movie will actually be placed in universe where it's going to take place as far as on earth goes i have no idea but it looks like it is a soft reboot set after dominion while not necessarily throwing everything out of the timeline the fact that it's called jurassic city slash jurassic reboot and it's filming very very soon is very odd to me like i don't quite understand what direction they want to go in but my gut is telling me they knew that they were in a lot of deep water with dominion as far as fans go and while chaos theory and camp cretaceous fans may like 
something like that. You know, a higher octane action, but also comedic story that is, is kind of a mess and not really what Jurassic Park has it could honestly be like uh, there might be fans that really like that stuff they knew that they probably would get more diminishing returns if they just kept doing stuff like that honestly i don't know what to expect from this it's really weird because i can completely understand why you would want to take everything off the island i wanted that to happen for years because michael crichton's lost world novel had the aberrant forms thing with the carcasses of the dinosaurs washed along the shores of costa rica and the idea of dinosaurs breaking out is actually something that happens at the very beginning of the original Jurassic Park book. But it's weird, guys. I don't really know what they could do after defanging the animals the way they did in Dominion. We're going to have to wait and see. I will give them a little bit of grace and charity to just, you know, see what they got. They do have David Kep back. They do have Gareth Edwards directing the film. So maybe this one will be like a two-hour San Diego sequence at the end of The Lost World, only with a bunch of other dinosaurs, and taken seriously. Maybe this will be the Dominion everybody wanted to get. But unfortunately, Sam Neill himself has said he's not coming back. No word from Gold. Bloom. Let's just wait and see what we got going on here. Bottom line, the movie is scheduled to start filming from June to October of this year. Gareth Edwards is very good with VFX, so the dinosaurs are probably going to look a little bit better than they have before in the past. And David Kep's coming back. Scarlett Johansson is in talks. Let's see what this movie does with Thailand and Malta. But hey guys, I want to ask all of you, what do you think this movie is going to be? Like, best op opinions. Like, what do you guys got for me? Do you think that this movie is set after the last one? Do you think it's a prequel still? and they're just hiding away stuff? Or, like, what's with Jurassic City? What do you guys think? But I just want to hear. I genuinely want to know what everyone's thoughts are on this. And whatever your own opinions on all of this info happen to be, I'd love to hear all about them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I want to thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video. And as always, take it easy.